My name is Alex Richter, and I teach Wing Chun Kung Fu here in New York City. I was born in Los Angeles, but I grew up here on the East Coast, very close to New York City. From about the time I was nine years old, I, I wanted to be Bruce Lee, I wanted to do Kung Fu, and I knew that that was what I was going to do with my life. I uh, had a pretty good paying job with BMW when I was uh, 19, 20 years old. Although I was earning good money, it was able to support my martial arts habit. I quickly realized that I didn't want to spend the rest of my life working for somebody else. I wanted to do something uh, that made me happy. And the only thing that really made me happy was martial arts. It was the best decision I ever made. Well, Wing Chun is a very practical martial arts style. It's a little bit different from the very traditional Chinese Kung Fu styles. We don't have as many forms and weapons and we don't do lion dancing and we don't do all those things, but it's a very practical style. In the States, it's not um, unusual that a Westerner teaches Asian martial arts. I'm Alex Richter and welcome to City Wing Chun. What's, what's funny is that um, the Chinese, when they come to learn from me, sometimes they're a little bit skeptical at first. But when they see my teaching method and how different it is from the Chinese, they actually love it. In the traditional Chinese way, you were kind of uh, left to the whims of your Sifu. If your Sifu was in a bad mood that day, you're not going to learn anything special. If he's in a good mood, maybe he would teach you something new. We teach in a very step-by-step -step way so that everyone can get the benefits of Wing Chun and not just the talented students or the hardest working students, but everyone can see benefit from it. Chinese martial arts are actually practiced more by Westerners than they are by Chinese. When you come to my school, you would see all sorts of different people training. You would see Chinese and, and, and Koreans and Japanese and Westerners and Europeans. Uh, and, and they all get great benefit from Chinese martial arts. So it's something that was once just for the Chinese, but not anymore. Now it's for everybody. Uh, learning Kung Fu is really, it's a lifestyle. You, when you start learning Kung Fu, it, it, it's, it's part of your life now, it, and it influences the way you look at everything. So here in New York, the perfect example is our streets are very crowded. And usually when men are walking towards each other, they tend to want to, you know, walk in a straight line and everyone else has to move around them. So of course, that, that means that a lot of men end up bumping each other in the shoulder or pushing each other out of the way on the subway. Well, when you learn Wing Chun, you look at that totally differently. When somebody's walking at you on the street, you don't think, okay, this person has to move out of my way. You think, okay, maybe when this person's shoulder comes close to mine, I'm just going to turn to make them miss and then go back and continue walking. So instead of looking at all the people on the street as if they're somehow your, your enemy or as if they're somehow a problem, you look at them as opportunities to get better at your art or to apply the way of, of, of giving way in your daily life, not just in fist fighting. So how do we apply Kung Fu? Well, we can improve our balance on the subway, we can improve how we move in and out of crowds on the street, and also how we interact with people if they want to be argumentative. Kung Fu gives you a, an outlet to respond to those things differently than the people who don't have Kung Fu. Uh, well, I never thought when I started learning Chinese martial arts when I was young that I would become so fascinated with the culture. I thought, of, you know, Chinese Kung Fu is very cool um, and I was very interested in learning the movements, but 
you realize that Chinese Kung Fu is different from the other martial arts. You could learn kickboxing or you could learn Thai boxing and you don't need to know anything about Thai culture. You could learn Western boxing and you don't need to know anything about Western culture. But you can't learn Chinese Kung Fu without learning about Chinese culture. I'm really into it, so it's a lot deeper for me. You know, I, I learned about the complex relationships between teachers and students and, and why styles change and all of this stuff is inextricably linked to Chinese culture.